All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna take you along for a little editing trip where I take this picture and I edit it to look like this picture. A lot of you have seen this style before and you've probably seen some advertisements for presets under the name Black Paris Presets. There's a very minimalistic look that a lot of people like. I don't believe it works for every picture, but it will work for some. Full disclosure, I've created my own presets to get this look, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go off of my notes. I'm gonna go step by step, that way you can edit your own pictures the same way that I'm doing it here. If in the future you would like to see some presets available from me, please let me know in the comments below and I can maybe make that happen for you. Anyway, let's jump into this edit and make it happen. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm basically just gonna start from the top of my panel over here. I'm gonna work my way down. So if you have Lightroom open and you wanna follow along with an image that you like, let's go through it together. Again, I'm gonna go from top to bottom all the way down the whole list. So let's get going here. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my exposure um, and I'm going to boost that up to 2.95, give or take. Now I understand that this is gonna look a little bit blown out, as you can see, but the things that come and follow this are going to make it, a, it's gonna make more sense. Just, just follow along, let's make it happen. My next step is going to be my contrast, and with that, I'm going to bring that all the way up to 60. Give or take. Highlights is the next thing. I'm going to bring that up to 20. Not that far. All right, shadows is the next thing on the list. We're going to bring that to negative 10. And we've got our whites. The whites we're gonna bring down to all the way to the left to negative 100. And then our blacks, we're gonna put that at plus 40. All right there. All right, and the next panel that we're dealing with is the presence. Uh, in fact, before we jump into that, you can look at your before and after and see where we're, kind of where we're at with this image. Uh, obviously, it's a lot brighter at this point, but we're about to reverse the roles of the brightness with our next few selections here. All right, now we're in presence. Uh, for the texture, we're gonna bring that to a plus 10. Clarity, we're gonna make that a plus 20. Right there. And then dehaze, which is one of my favorite sliders in, I, I probably overuse dehaze, but I think it's awesome, I think it's awesome. So anyway, we're gonna take dehaze, we're gonna put that at plus 40. Right about, whoops, well, 40, 41, who cares? Anyway, we're gonna put it right there. And then our next one is going to be our vibrance and saturation, which are actually, this is where we're gonna start sucking the colors back out of your picture and creating that black Paris look. So with Vibrance, we're gonna bring that down to negative 25. Right there. And Saturation, we're gonna bring that down to negative 30. Right there. So now you can see we pulled some of the color out of that. And even though we still have some of the reds, uh, we still have some of the skin tone in there. And here again, we'll look at the before and after. Now, understand that the original picture that I started with is a little underexposed, but that's something that we can deal with either later on after these edits are done, we can play with the exposure a little bit. Um, it just happened to be the picture that it was. So this is where we're at right now. And as we go down the list, we're gonna get into our tone curves here. Now as far as the tone curves go, this is something that you can play with, depending on whether you took the picture outside or inside. There's a lot of different things, but this is just the starting point um, for me. So we're gonna start with our shadows, and we're gonna bring these shadows down to negative 15. About right there. And then you're, going, you're gonna jump into your darks, which you can bring those down to a negative 35. 
right there. And then our lights, which we're gonna bring that down to negative 49. So see, we're really bringing these, these levels down. There's our 49. 48 whatever and then we've got our highlights which we're actually going to put that at plus two or plus three whatever close enough so that's going to give us that look right there now i want to take this little slider down here follow my mouse down here this little slider over here i want to take this and i want to actually push this to the right to about 35 right there so then your bottom sliding bars bars should look a little something like that all right all right, and again, we'll look at the before and after. Try not to spend too much time on this. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible so you can get in, get out, get your pictures edited and post it to your Instagram feed. So here we go, we're gonna keep going. All right, the next thing is we've got our HSL sliders down here. We're gonna start on the hue sliders right here. All right, we're just gonna, again, we're gonna start at hue. We're gonna go down the list for all of them, right? All right, so red, we're gonna leave alone. Then we're at orange, we're gonna go negative 10 on the orange. All right, so there's that. We've got our yellow, which we're gonna suck all the yellow out of it, all the way to the left with that. And then we've got green, we're gonna leave that alone. And now we've got the aqua, we're actually gonna push that plus 100. Now we've got blue, we're gonna leave that alone. Purple, we're gonna leave that alone. And magenta, we're gonna leave that alone. So when you're done with this panel, this is what it should look like. Next step is saturation. We're gonna jump into that one. All right, and now in the saturation, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the red and you go to plus 16. Right there, and then our orange, we're gonna take that to plus 10. All right, that's gonna leave some of our skin tones in there when we suck the color out of everything else. Now for the rest of this panel, you're gonna go negative 100. Negative 100, negative 100, all the way down the list. All right, so by the time you get to the bottom of this panel and the saturation panel, this is what you should have. This is what you should be left over with. All right, next one, we're gonna go to luminance. All right, luminance, we're gonna change one thing and that's the red. We're going to take that and put it at negative 10. there all right next thing on the list we're gonna come down to our split toning right here all right so you've got highlights and you've got shadows what we're gonna do is we are going to take the hue of your highlights and we're gonna push that all the way to 210 if I can get there there we go and then we've got saturation of our highlights and we're gonna push that just to five All right, and then we've got our shadows down here. We're going to take the shadows, we're gonna take the hue, we're gonna put that to 220. Way up here. All right, and then our saturation, we're gonna take that to a 10. All right. And then there we are again. Let's look at the before and after. You can see we're kind of getting we're getting close. We're getting really, really, really close. Hang in there. We're almost there. All right. Now we're gonna go down to the next portion, which is going to be our sharpening. So right now we've got it's got the auto sharpening in there. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask it a little bit. And this isn't something you have to do, it's just something that I do because I feel like I get better edges. So if you push options, so hear me. So as I'm clicking on this masking right here, on this little slider, if I push options, I'm using a Mac. I think Windows might be a little different, but what you wanna do is you push option button and hold it while you're clicking on the slider. And as you're sliding it, you get this these outlines now it's going to show you where it's sliding so you can mask out how much sharpening or what you want to sharpen because when you sharpen you don't necessarily want the whole image to sharpen you just want specific spots of it to sharpen for instance like the edges and stuff like that so really what i try to do is get it about right right there's probably good for me and then you let off everything and then you've sharpened the edges and not every single thing within the picture 
And the last thing is the noise reduction and we're gonna slide that up to 20. Right there, and we'll be good to go. All right, now if you're in a hurry, you can dip out if you've copied down what I did here. That's going to be the end of that edit. I'm just gonna go through and make a few more adjustments to make this picture exactly the way that I want it. But overall, these are the settings that I have used for my preset. So if you wanna go ahead and do it and create your own preset, feel free to do it. Again, presets are just a starting point for any edit. You can't just apply presets and call it a day. You're gonna have to make a few adjustments here and there. In fact, I'm gonna make a couple adjustments to this preset that I just applied with this image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab the crop tool. I'm gonna straighten this up a little bit. And bring this in, push enter. I like where that's at. I'm gonna come to the top here. I'm actually gonna tempt this up just a little bit, about right there. I'm just gonna get, bring back a little bit more of that skin tone. I think I like where the exposure is. Bring it down just a little bit, and about right there. And let's look at our before and after here. So a big difference with our before and afters. I've really, I'm really, really happy with that. And again, this preset or this editing style doesn't work for every picture, but I feel that it really works with this picture. In fact, this is the reason I created this preset and this edit for this particular photo shoot because she's wearing a red dress. My motorcycle has red spots on it. Uh, and, th and that's kind of the theme I was going for there. So I think I was really able to do that. I'm quite happy with it. So that's our final image. Um, now, if we go into, let's go into the next picture that we did the same day in the same dress. Again, it's red, she's on a black bench, and there's not a whole lot going on in the picture, but there's those colors that we can pull out and really make this photo pop. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna take, I'm gonna click on our first picture that we already did the edit with. <clears throat> Shift, click this one, and I'm just gonna sync it. Synchronize, which is gonna pull, wouldn't you know? It's gonna pull all of the edit, editing that we did for the first picture, it's gonna bring it over to the second picture. Now obviously you can see that this isn't, it doesn't look that good. But the reason for that is because it's just overexposed. So if we bring the exposure down just a little bit, it really, really, really makes a difference. Really exposure, I think, I've done a bunch of different edits with this particular preset and these settings, and the one thing that I really have to keep an eye on is the exposure. Everything else kind of falls in line to make the picture look the way I want it to, so pretty pleased with it. All right, of course, you can play around with your, play around with that. You could probably bring up your, bring your blacks down just a little bit if you wanted to. There's a lot of things you can do, but this edit itself, and what we just went through is going to be a fantastic starting point for you. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Short and sweet, I just felt like I wanted to share this particular preset slash all the settings with you guys so you could follow along and edit your own pictures in this way. If watching me edit and going through these settings with you is something that you're into, please subscribe, hit the notification button, and let me know below that you enjoyed this video. That way I know that you're interested in watching me edit more pictures. That way I can hook you guys up with some more editing styles and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I would love to show you guys with things that I do to edit my, to edit certain pictures and whatnot. Till next time.